Y'all got 30 seconds to get off my motherfucking bus. Like, I was like, I was like, did I get myself into? That's what you gonna be thinking. We're going to be talking about our basic training experience. It was crazy, y'all. It, it was crazy as fuck. <laughs> so, you know, I got my little notebook because I forgot everything we done did. But I got it written down, whatever. It was a lot of stupid shit. A whole lot of dumbass shit. Y'all, you gonna miss home. Believe her, she gonna die, but bitch, you die. So basically, you gonna look hurt. Yeah, we were, we were well. all in the same battalion. We was at 113th. We went to Fort Jackson, South Carolina. I but she want to be lame and shit and she be a whole in, other company. She, she was, was in Echo. Echo. We was in all three of us in the Bravo company. She, she was in Echo shit. company. I can't choose that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, all right, where we start at? Let's start at the start reception. Set. Reception. No, reception. Okay. Reception. Reception. Let's start at when we left home. Okay, yeah, when we left home. Ready I got to a, fucking cry, ready to quit. Matter of fact, I got a video that I'm a, you know, when I first arrived at reception, when my recruiter. Hey, what's going on? This is Stan Sergeant Evans, right? United States Army recruiter. I have Private Carmichael with me. We are approximately 30 minutes or less, and the anticipation is kicking in. <laughs> Private Carmichael is uh, about to be dropped off to dropped off to reception which is the place you go before basic training um, she's gonna be well taken care of and many months later listen I was so scared y'all like so scared you can't even talk <laughs> all right so basically basically if you reserves you go the same day but if you active duty you leave the night before to go to MEPS. Oh, that's the night before. No? It depends how far you it are. It depends. Yeah. No reception. Boom. You get there. It's not nothing like basic. It's chill. It's you might you get doing too much. The first day you stay no. 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. 24 yeah. hours. You're going to be tired as fuck, but it ain't shit compared to like, you're going to be like, damn, we doing all this army shit. No. Yes. It ain't shit compared to I thought reception was basic. hard, bro. Me too. Of course I'm you don't think it's hard because you're a civilian. You, you're a civilian, so like going from your civilian life to that is like what the fuck? It is hot. Like it's your first time wearing OCPs. Hot as heck. No, 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 it's no, no, no. They there. had us in PTs with boots on. I'm leg. like, I ain't wear OCPs the second day. I wore OCPs like, like the third, third day. Before, yeah. yeah. So basically, it was a little minute after. You do a lot of paperwork and you do a lot of sitting around. And you could be like, "You're not sitting around. It's standing around. You stand around for shot, no processing, no dentist, eye check, shots, ears. bro." When I tell you, they do that. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yeah, like, like you literally back, walk back, around the room and just be like, "All right, boom, this right. shot." Boom, this shot. Boom, this you shot. You gotta take Boom, pills. Shot. Pills, pills. They yeah. issue your clothes. Yeah, you gotta take pills. Don't you gotta, gotta Oh yeah, the first issue. night when you the first night when you get your stuff, that bag gonna feel heavy. Oh, God. That laundry yeah. bag. You gonna be run you bro, you gonna be running with that shit because you gotta grow you gotta your take laundry bag and run your bag. Take, your your reception is boring. But if you have Fort Jackson, um one twentieth, that's where we had our reception at. They they full that's was so good, y'all. Two French toast. Two French. Toast. They fool was so good. Like, okay, at first for me it wasn't because I'm definitely Dominican as fuck. I was like, I was like, this is nasty. Is nasty fuck. <laughs> but we want to basically go back to reception, bro. You're gonna be like, damn. you're like, damn, damn it's reception. You're like, damn, two French toast. Wow. Right. Five pieces of bacon. Damn. <laughs> Um, so yeah, reception is no, no, good. No, blue, that blue drink. That blue drink. Blue raspberry drink. That thing. That thing looks good, bro. That orange juice is where it's at. Yeah, I drink orange juice every time. All right, now let's get to the hard stuff. Last day reception, we pack all our bags. We got it ready. About to get on the bus before we like head off the basic training, bro. I remember 
We saw all the drill sergeants lined up on by the buses. So basically, you get on a bus, they can make, make y'all put your heads down because they did not want y'all to see where y'all going. I was like this. Because trust bad. me, because trust me, you're going to want to run away. I was like, when y'all police in the area, you're going to want to be like, Freedom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared to run away, bro. I like, can I make it home? Right. Like, <laughs> everybody was on the bus. He was like, F.D. I said, where am I going? <laughs> oh, God. I was, I was like, I was like, I was trying to pick out the window. Like, <laughs> I had the window seat too. I was like, right next to the window. I was like, me too. But y'all. Y'all, when we got there, make sure you're hearing regulations. Yes. Yeah. When we got there, I can just remember. Don't wear your little puff, because they checked my ass real yeah. quick. I had a fat ass curly butt, a curly puff. And they yeah. said, how's the weedy? What's that? You want to take your little picture and shit there, so they want to make sure you in regulation and all that good shit. Bro. So, you're going to take your picture there. Yeah. Be bro. cute. As ugly as you fuck. can't. Just Mine's like, cute. Bro. Mine's cute. Cute. Yours is cute. Mm -hmm. Yours is cute. But like me, I was ready to cry and shit. So you see my ass like, like you gonna take your cat car picture and it's gonna be ugly as so fuck. You're gonna literally look like you just got out of jail, type shit. Okay. That's just ugly. Y'all, when we when we arrive at basic training, you know, drill sergeants, they um they, they came on the bus. They was like giving us instructions or whatever. And they was like, all right, y'all got 30 seconds to get off my motherfucking bus, <laughs> bro. When I said we was all trying to run off this bus so fast. We little as fuck, so imagine all those bad All the bad I'm like, I'm like, they were like, get off the bus, get off the bus. Get the hell off the bus. They started banging on the windows and everything. Y'all. Well, for us, they just made us get off the bus, but if you wasn't running when you got off, they were like, they were all in your face. All in your face, attacking, nothing at you. So, you know. I was laughing, but I shouldn't have been. I was like, ain't shit funny. Nah, bro. I gotta, yo, if I can find that picture, bro, they was yelling at me. My drill sergeant was yelling at me, bro. When I see he was at my neck, I had all three of my drill sergeants at my neck, and my stupid ass can get. Don't pack fucking so much shit. Yes, don't. I couldn't get my laundry bag. My head. I had a drill sergeant here, a drill sergeant here, and a drill sergeant here all in my face. Like, and I need to everything in your duffel bag. Everything. everything. So you can hold everything. it. Because that laundry bag is going to be over your head. So I was like, I was like, all like, bro, dropping that shit. Oh, dropping like, that shit. Dropping that shit. Like, you going to want to rest it on your head. They're going to get I that fucking that shit that off your head. Shit. Get it off your head. Oh, bro. Y'all, when I said at that moment, I, I was like, quit. I was like, no. I was like, no. did I get myself I was in? Like, no. That's what you want me to do. Whatever you say, it's no. worth it. Go to sleep at night. Yeah, go to sleep at night when you're going to be sitting there like crying type shit. Oh my God. You know what I I was like, what the no. heck did I get did myself? Got, did y'all have shower drills that first night? Yes. yes. First, bro. No, no. you didn't shower, my guy. I don't give a fuck what they said. By the time you take all them clothes off, three yeah. seconds, bro. Three three seconds. Seconds. You get in and get my, the fuck out. Yo, Literally. you're going to, like, you know, they don't care don't waste how, your time. Don't how, don't how uncomfortable, uncomfortable you are. You're going to get naked in front. Well, at least everybody. We got to know we got naked in front of everybody. No, in front of the drill sign. Yeah, us too. The drill sign was in the bathroom. It was one in the, by the, by the, um. Oh, you're bugging me. About the stalls, and then there was one by where you go in the shower. Yeah. There was like this. Oh, yeah, no, 30 seconds, right. 29. You're bugging. Yeah. She's looking at everybody. Got it on the door. Uh, I was like, bro. Door, and then I, was like, I was like, bro, my boobs, bro. <laughs> my boobs, she was like, And I was like, I was like, hold on. Hold on. I, 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 used I, used to I was the last one in there. She was just like, are you going to move any slower? I was like, I don't want you seeing what I got. body, right. This is uncomfortable. Y'all, the first 72 hours, y'all gonna hate the first 72 hours. Like, that's yeah. 72 hours. That's like the first 365 hours. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're gonna hate it all, but the first 72 hours is built to make you and break. It's gonna to break, break you. you. Yes. Like, I, when I said, bro, that first I week, quit, bro. Until we got to like the. I, so we did like the um. I mean, the, we, we here, here. So it's doable. We exactly. here. Yeah, we here. It's doable. It's hard I was to quit. quit. I was talking to Commander and everything, so I can quit, so I can get the fuck out. But my nigga, if I can make that shit, bro, anybody can, bro. I'm lazy as fuck. All types of bullshit. <laughs> we skinny as fuck. We little as fuck. Let me just. I know y'all see it. We little as fuck. Goddamn it. So, I got so many scars. I didn't bust my face on my weapon. Literally. Yeah, scar right literally, here. Literally. So many scars. We ugly. Yeah, oh yeah. You're going to look busted up. You're going to look busted up.
No, nah, y'all look it. Y'all look. Y'all still look straight during bitch journey. And you, you know, <laughs> if you're gonna leave for the army, start doing PT, like yeah, working out yeah. early on, cause yeah. you're gonna be struggling. So like, you're gonna be struggling like hell. And all that running, like you gonna die. Let me they don't care. Y'all, y'all gonna be starting off with that goddamn new ACFT. When I tell you that shit, they don't fucking joke. Y'all, we, we gonna went, tell you it's straight, but it's not. Y'all, we went in the middle of the summer. When I said it was so hot at Fort Jackson, like hot bro. As shit. I can just be standing he up and you can just be sweating. So much people, he can't. Y'all, you just I had, I had hella nosebleeds. I had to wear bleeds. all this shit. All this shit, bro. Hella nosebleeds. Y'all can learn what he cat is. Y'all can learn what ice sheets is. Y'all can learn what all that Y'all gonna want it. Y'all gonna want ice sheet. Yeah, my best No, the freaking, um. Oh, nah. he, he dump. He yeah, dump too. He, he, no. He dump when you go upstairs and take a shower. No, he, he dump. Yeah, no, he, he dump. Is that he dump? Yeah, we got Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, y'all can remember this. Arm emergence. That's armor. what the freak is called. Yeah, yeah. Arm emergence. He called it both. Yeah, arm emergence. Like, set up the arm emergence tanks and do what he do. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we say it. So, you know, the food, they rush you, they, bro. They, all they do is yell at you in the child line and first setting to, oh, I mean. They gonna judge your food choice. The whole just telling you, they gonna watch what you got. Yo, no, yo, yo. our first day eating, I drunk. Just, they <laughs> drill sergeant. <laughs> I'm eating my food. She said, get the fuck up. You're done. And I said, okay. She said, drink all your liquids. I chose nasty ass orange juice. That's the nasty fuck on my mom. I came back. I tried to get her. She said, oh, you thought I wasn't going to come back? You thought I wasn't going to come back? I said, bro, I literally went outside. I thought like, the first. You can't even walk out and get that. You run. You run back. You so, run out. Nah, then you better keep your mouth closed because not that throw coming straight out your mouth. I said, yeah, the first was, few weeks, you're going to want to throw up after yes, you eat. Like, yes. you running, you're running, running with that shit. You, it's going to make you feel bad. But I got used to that shit. I, I got used to it, too. I got used I, to I, running. I still didn't run. I still didn't run. I know. We all walk walk. together. I was like, like walk. <laughs> I'm a profile. <laughs> That's my favorite um freaking people you be can't... saying people be saying don't go to sick hall, go to sick hall because that really? that's that will save your life, honestly. They not gonna want to because I heard that too and I still didn't want to. They told me if you give you feeling bad, go to sick hall. My drill sign made me feel shitty as fuck for even wanting to go to I don't sick hall like six I don't times, care, bro. And I got myself together. It's hella people that didn't go to sick hall and they waited on their like injury. And they got worse. Got worse yeah, right? they here now. It fucked up. Like somebody no. was going to airborne. Something like somebody that was like we had to fit to win, and she did not want to go to her um, to sick call because she was so hurt. So she like held that off, and now she got discharged because she got like stress fractures and stuff. Yes, y'all need to make sure y'all keep take care, take care of your body. Take care of your body. That's the main. If you thing. don't come in here vegetarian, don't come. You're in gonna be hurt. Yeah, you're gonna get hurt. Cause you need iron yeah. and stuff. You're you don't, need, don't come in here. You're gonna limp. You're gonna get blisters. You're gonna be like that. I want you. Everybody don't get blisters. I ain't get no. Blisters. I didn't get blisters at get all blisters. to the end. I got, oh, to yeah, the end. I got, no, bro. I got blisters at the very, very end. Like the, I didn't get blisters to the boards, bro. The boards fucked me up. Like, my toe was bleeding. No, everything. The forge was horrible. Y'all, all right, so. And they're going to tell you at church, fun. it's all fun and games to the forge. Yeah. Exactly. So the forge is fun? You got three phases. You got red face, white face, blue face. This is everything you do in. This is everything you do in red face. So during red face, you do the hammer, which is a five mile ruck, and you stay there for one night. That's going to hurt. It's going to fuck Hold up. Wait, hold on. Then you do the gas chamber, and then you do victory tower, and then you do your APFT. Yeah, victory tower, third we, tower. Well, we did everything, and then we did the hammer. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, first, the hammer's last. So first, victory tower. When I said I was so scared. You didn't do victory tower first? We did victory we tower did, first. We did the, the, the um, gas chamber first. We did victory tower. So we did victory tower first. So basically, you repel off a 40-foot wall. Y'all, when I said I was, I was so scared. Ain't gotta make you, don't, you don't think you're gonna be scared? I didn't think I was gonna be scared. I was like, I don't care. When I said, oh, when, I, when I looked back, I was like, oh. Gotta, it's, it's based off of you. You make your own harness and you gotta like hold the. You the do rope. everything. You set up that if shit. You, if, don't you, if you let go of the rope and you don't catch yourself, you're dead. Right. Like, <laughs> one, of friends, one of my friends let go his stupid ass. So he let go of whatever. He's lucky as fuck that the person at the bottom was paying attention because not broke the nigga would have broke his neck or some shit. So you need to make sure you're holding it. You nervous as fuck, but well, you gonna be so nervous that you gonna hold on. Like you gonna hold right here and then you hold you like hold the back. Yeah. I was like, I was right like, here. what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was so I was scared, scared, bro. Like, bro, my neck was shaking like a stripper. I was like, oh, the thing we did was the gas chamber, y'all. First, first of all, 
So I was thinking about, I thought about listing my junior year in the military. And after my brother graduated basic training, I was always asking about the gas chamber. Y'all, when I said, I used to be so scared. Like, I was like, I didn't even want to join the military just because of the gas chamber. Well, but you know, I didn't want to join because of my hair. No, but you know, I went, we did the gas chamber. We got in or whatever. They make you um have the mask over your face. And they make you like test your um what's it called? Gas mask. Yeah, they make you test your gas mask. Trust your equipment. Trust your equipment. You're gonna wanna trust your equipment because if you don't trust your equipment, you're gonna start freaking out and you're not gonna be able to breathe. And anyway, so we we freaking tested our gas mask. And then next thing you know, they was like, All right, take off your mask. So this is me. I took off my mask. I was like, <coughs> bro, that's <nice. laughs> Oh my God. And then we did that for like eight seconds. And then he was like, all right, get out, get the hell out, get out, get out. Then he make us do this little thing while we walking out or whatever. I was like, bro, that shit was terrible. I was like, now let me tell you, the rock there, I mean the walk there was worse than the fucking, fucking thing. You're in there for 15 seconds. I was like, for us, you're in there for like a minute, but you breathing for 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah you in there for a minute. And it doesn't even hurt. Like when I was first in there, I was like, damn, damn, this shit gonna hurt. This shit was just, I felt a little burning. Like, it, was little, it was a little, it was itchy. itchy. My neck was itchy, itchy so, so like, when you, was so bad. Bad. you get out, bro, I was like, I couldn't breathe so bad. I feel like I was gonna throw up, but I couldn't throw up. That shit was terrible. Oh, after the gas chamber, I was somewhere bipolar like this. <laughs> By myself crying, I swear to God. I was like, oh my mama, man. Bro, if you sick, home. if you sick, you ain't gonna be sick after God. you do the gas chamber. Yeah. yeah, it clears out all your insides. It was like, horrible. You, I had when you come out, all the comes all out. You gonna be crying, bro? Don't ever in your life think you just that that nigga. Like you ain't gonna. Be. You gonna cry? Cause you not. It's bad. You gonna cough? You, you gonna, gonna be cry. If you don't cough, they not letting you out. Oh yeah. If you don't cough, you ain't getting out. Yeah, cause you gotta take a deep breath in. And they make you, they make you um see the soldiers create while while the the gas mask off. Shit. Yeah, they just said breathe in for us. We had to do it, but with the mask on. No. I don't know. What did we do? Well, we didn't do nothing. We did do stuff. Well, all my people, I didn't, um, all my people told me to do was lift it up, and then I guess yeah. they, they have to check something right here, yeah, and then they told us bro, to put it back down. When you do that, bro, when you do that, make sure burn. you listen to what the fuck they say, bro, because they told you not to breathe in. Like you hold your breath real quick, show them that the mask is on, right? You do it, and then bro, they they out, breathe bro, in. Bro, my stupid ass breathed in, so all that shit was in my. So I'm already panicked. It was like all in your mask. It was already in your mask. <laughs> Literally was me. I had to hold my battle buddy Weston hand. I'm like, bro, yeah. I'm for the fucking you, you gonna, this If bitch. you gotta go in there with a battle buddy, so you can hold their hand, bro. Ass. My battle buddy, I wasn't my my battle buddy. buddy was holding my hand. I like, was real hard. I was like, I was like, hello. I was next to Bird, bro. No, when you line up to go out, you like this, and everybody like, come on, come yeah, on. Yeah. And like me, I'm pushing the girl in front of me, like, come. I was, on, I was at the end of the line. Open. I was at the end of the line. I was so mad, bro. Door was wasn't like, even open. I pushed on, like, go, <laughs> bro. It was crazy. But yeah, that was fun. Like, never do again. Never again. It be like, I gotta do the gas chamber again. Nope. Mm -mm. Like, mm -mm. Nah, mm -mm. it was all right. It was all right. It wasn't that bad at all. So, so we did, okay, so we took the APFT three times. Wait, rewind. Four. Four. Four times. Rewind. So the first, within the first you three, the last week within the time. first three days, you take like a little, you take a PT test to see where you at, basically. It's meant for you to fail. Yeah, because I failed. I mean, I, I, passed, three push I passed my push-ups and setups, but I failed my run. My run was like a 25-minute run. It's like, like, go ahead and practice them, them push-ups like this. Well, you the hand release push-ups. Oh shit, yeah, them too. No, she's talking about the A the A. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah Start doing y'all push ups to the back. And not mm -hmm. no, no, like keep your hands no, together. Shit. Almost like football. Yeah, you, like don't if you play football type shit, you know what I'm talking about. You do you do your push ups on um, close hands. Don't shit. do wide arm. Don't do wide don't arm. Don't do wide arm. You need to be like this. This is how you need to do your push ups. Just like this. So basically we took we took three APFTs. APFT was the easy test. We basically did how many sit-ups you can do in two minutes, how many push-ups you can do in two minutes, and two mile run has to be under 1854 for females. Yeah. So the first time my red face um PT test, I didn't pass my I didn't pass my red face freaking PT test because my time was like 22 minutes. Yeah, you need to take your first PT test like my two was days 28 minutes. Bruh. I was like, I'm not a runner. My shit was 22 minutes. I hate running, I hate it all that. 
No, bro. My show was 28 fucking minutes. I had mine was 22 minutes. My push-ups was 20, and then my sit-ups was like 39. Y'all, yeah. when I said I was so dead after that run, I was like, <gasps> like I have never ran two miles straight. Like, never. Yeah. I'm fucking like, bro. I ran track and I never did no bullshit like but that. But now, I mean, my body's starting to get used to. It. Now I just be running around the barracks. <laughs> just because. <laughs> to be honest. To be honest. I mean, All right. The last thing we did in red face was the hammer. So the, you have three rough marches during your whole basic training. It's the hammer, the anvil, and the forge. The hammer is five miles, the anvil is seven miles, and the forge is 10 miles. So the hammer, what killed, what killed me was I we none of us knew how to pack our rug correctly. So our rugs was like so dang on big. Nobody told us to compress it. Exactly. Nobody, Nobody told, told to us what to put underneath, what to do this and this. So knowing me, I'm at the back of the freaking formation while we're rocking. First sergeant, he's sitting and yelling at me, telling me something. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop well, feeling I, sorry for yourself. Here no, 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 no. I was like, bro, this is me. I'm sitting there trying to walk. Like it it, it, no, it, it, motivated, it motivated me to just do better just and prove them wrong. Like, I can worse. do this. People gonna be going through worse than I can do this. I can do this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm rucking or whatever. I'm like, <gasps> all that all that weight on my back. It was you know, hard. It was hard. It was hard. As yeah, hell. you're not used to it, so it's hard. You're going to cry. I cried. I cried. I, cried. I was doing the rug. I cried. Crying. I, yeah, my like my my mind, I wasn't Personal. ready for it at all. What's all right, that's red face. After red face, things started to get a little bit better with the drill side. As far as, as, far as the drill the team, I don't know. We just was red face the whole damn time. It wasn't even that. They were still dickheads. It was just, it was. it's just they wasn't always ah, yeah. like in our faces. They were still yelling at us, but they we were shooting, like, so they was kind of patient. Like, yeah, yeah you okay. can't yell at people when they're trying to shoot. Yeah, let me tell you, they drill sergeant will tell you that they still fucking, fucking yell and shit. So no, like, the art drill sergeant, but they're fucking Williams. Do you wear glasses? <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh, white God, face, like white face was mainly rifle marksmanship. Like you basically, was, you, you at the range every day. That shit was fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. After that, I was like, "Get me out of this." The shit. The first day, cause I was kind of depressed, cause I couldn't zero. So I was like, "I don't." Right, yeah, I was. I, 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 I was zero. Well, I zeroed the first day. The first I zeroed the second day, and it was like it was like in close intervals too. And if you fucking shooting this shit, like you already been shooting before, like that's the issue I had at first. Oh yeah, briefs. Yeah, sharp, sharp, sharp is the main. Don't touch. Keep your hands to yourself. Yes, please. They do not play. Like, if you do this, do this. Touch somebody's hair. Try to fix somebody's camel back. Female, female, male, male. That is the fuck. They don't, they give a, don't care about you. I will put a shirt on you right now, yeah. but nah, bro, I remember, sexual harassment. I remember when somebody somebody was wearing like a size oh, small you? shorts or something like that, but they really supposed to wear a medium. So then when the just on was like, I will sharp you, bro. I feel you very can. disrespected. You can't. And she was like, she said something. That, it was crazy, y'all. My face was a bunch, you have to qualify with your CCOs, which is the red light. I hate that. Then you that. qualify with you the You don't need the press if you can't shoot, but it's possible. Like, I couldn't shoot shit, and I ended up shooting expert. Yeah, I had, I had 40, sharp, like, sharp shooter. It's possible. Just so, be patient with your, because sometimes it's your weapon. I did. Sometimes it's not even easy because they got a... I went to jam every single time I shot. Yeah, every single especially when it came to qualifying day, my weapon yeah. jam. My every single time I shot that damn weapon, fucking was called. Sometimes it was do video weapon. Make sure y'all pay attention to the instructions. Make sure y'all pay attention to when they tell you like how to fix your weapon when you have like a malfunction. Make sure you clean that shit too. Make sure you Ooh, clean it works. really good. Make sure you clean it. Really good. On the hammer, you're gonna be about ready to say, fuck this weapon and throw it in the room. Oh, yeah, you gotta run. 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 Trainee, hold it correctly. Has to be like, oh lord, all right, all right, all right. Flag, all right. Bro, I swear. So, white face. Um, hey, don't point your weapon at the drill sergeant. <laughs> oh, we get fitted for. They gonna rat take your ass. Yes. Week five, we got fitted for our dress blues. That was like a, it was a happy moment. We was like, okay, we halfway done with this. We almost done, y'all. We almost done. Um, and then we did the ando at the end of white face. Ando was seven. My seven miles rope there. So basically we got lucky because it was hurricane. It was a hurricane coming during our time. So we only had to stay one night instead of two nights. So basically at the field, you basically just do like a lot of 
Like you learn like um what we learn at the field? The tactical thing. You learn the, the, the hand radio. Hand, hand signals. Hand signal, hand signal. You learn how to use a radio. You learn like the the wedge thing. Yeah. Bro, y'all, we were sleeping in the middle of the night and the freaking drill sergeants are you here shooting? Like we all sleeping like throughout the whole You sleep near a range. Yes. And I hear shooting like this. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. You gonna be like, hey. we woke, I was woke up. I was like, bro, what's going on? I hear no shooting. <laughs> we did. We got woke up by a grenade though. Yeah, the grenade. Oh, yeah, and it is a grenade. That just said boom. But we all woke up like, what the nah, world bro. going on? My boy Jazz, boy, she cussed at the drill sergeant. She said, what the? I was like, oh, I was so man. mad. So after white face, blue face, y'all. So basically, after after each um. Field exercise basically, you have like a ceremony to phase up basically. So uh, after the anvil, we phased up into blue face, and when we did that, y'all, we saw the blue flag. It's y'all. Blue flag. The blue flag. When, when you do phase changes at the ceremonies, uh, I was crying. Right I was like, bro, I done made it this far. I have to finish. I was like, I have to blue finish. Blue flag. We got the red, white, and blue flag. Blue flags, baby. Please. No, we got the red, white, and blue flag after we the porch. We got that after the year, after the porch. We got the blue flag. That's, that's the whole the way. That's the top of the thing. Through the um thing. So basically, red, I mean, blue face. It's been 30 minutes. We did, um, first thing we did was the buddy team live, Omaha. So basically, it was fun. It was where we met. No, we met when we got the shoot at the drill sergeant. The day we face changed. <laughs> we you know when we get to shoot the red little dots. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. That's what we meant. Oh, Where the hell is Omaha then? Omaha is when we was on the lanes and not that red sand. All that sand and we had a low crawl, a high crawl, and shoot up and shoot down and like we, we did that other shit before. Top, top, pop, 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 pop. And battle buddy cover me. Y'all gotta learn how y'all gotta learn a prone supported position. Drew Stone was so proud of me. He said I was aggressive. I was like, <laughs> this girl's so funny. Omaha is fun though. And then we did the grenades, y'all. When I said it was fun, the grenades was fun. It was loud as hell, like y'all. The grenades are so loud. We all, we all think about the grenades. It was low key. Okay, after you throw a regular grenade, they gonna critique you. Da, da, da. When you go throw the real grenade, yeah, you you, you do a practice. When you get out first. there, ah, that should be loud and fun. Like me and Brevin and Thompson was hyped as fuck. I was hyped too. Oh, it was hot. It was hot as heck. Let me tell you. I forgot the joke. I said. He said. He push on. Oh, he push push say, he said. Say. <laughs> he said. Yeah, I tell y'all about what's that thing called? Battle buddy team live fighter. That person that was shooting me, he was only shooting at me. He was not shooting my battle buddy. That junk hurt. That junk was like paintballs or whatever, and it stained your clothes. So, I when I got shot later that day when I went to go take a shower and I looked at my thigh, it was like purple. It was like purple and blue, and it was like this big. Yeah. And it stayed there for a good week. When you when you get in the shower after y'all stop shower drills, be aggressive. Say so get out the shower now. Yes, cause they go they gonna try to don't all when, all, all when you all first know they go try to take twenty minute showers. No, nah, we ain't got time for that. Nah, some people are snitches. So if you tell them that, they gonna be like, oh she's bullying me. Da, da, da. It if, no, you can no, tell the drill no. sergeant. Yeah, they take my, it I would say tell the drill sergeant um that they be taking too long. Cause some of them, they gonna go to the gym before you do, and then they gonna be like, you're bullying, blah blah. blah. Y'all, don't try to be no bully, cause it didn't work out for me. And you li you literally just said bully these people. No, I said tell them get the fuck out the shower. That's bully. Yeah. Cause when it push come and shove, Drew song gonna be like, y'all got a problem with Williams? Everybody gonna be like. Yup, yup. At the end of the freaking cycle, right, 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 right. at the end of the cycle, we had so much like drama or whatever. We had to sit outside. We had to do sworn statements, and the judge was like, write everything that be happening in the bay or whatever. When when he went back upstairs, like he told us to all go back upstairs when we was done. We went back upstairs. He started calling people. And he said, Aaron. No, he said, who's bikini bottom? <laughs> if you bikini bottom, step into the um into the kill zone. bullying group. We was not a bullying group. They, we used to like, we was people's defenders and we like help people, but we didn't let people disrespect us either. And like, we was the ones that like kind of took charge of the baby when people wasn't listening. Like people were trying to bully other people and then we'll like defend the people, the person that's getting bullied and we'll attack, not really attack, but like go in on the person that's trying to bully them. And then they got mad at that and they just wrote all of our names down and then we got in trouble for it. You, you, and basically, you can't have clicks. 
Yeah. So basically. if you got a known clicking, you'll get in trouble. I got known for being a part of Three Musketeers because it was me, my friend, and my other friend. We was all we was always together. And my friend, she was PG. Oh yeah. So you have PGs and you have ABGs. PGs is basically a platoon guy. So they get their order from the drill sergeant. And basically they They're tell like us, the mini They tell us what to do basically. When the drill sergeant ain't there. Y'all, I was ABG for the first I was like the first ABG, y'all. I got fired. <laughs> Bruh, my drill sergeant is so mad, y'all. Okay, tell them what an ABG is. Like ABG which is it? Assistant. assistant platoon guy. So you basically assist the PG. But yeah, you should want to get into those um leadership roles because it helps as far as like promotions towards sometimes. the end of the cycle. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes. But um, the um, blue face. So um, we did land nav, y'all. They had us finding, those. they had us looking around for three hours. Trying you to go back to where the, did y'all go back to where the anvil was? You ain't gonna use that whole three hours. Yeah. We um, went back to where the anvil was and like they put stuff in the woods. Like you gotta, you gotta find go find it. it. With a compass. Yeah. With a freaking compass. Yeah, bro. They didn't even teach us how to use the compass. Well, Maybe they, they didn't. They didn't teach us how to use I the compass. Was, they didn't teach us how to use the compass. Y'all, we so they gave us three hours to go look for like five different codes, and it's like the five codes is like everywhere. We, bro, we got two out of five, bro. We was a no go because no, y'all, no, we was a no go. But the, I mean, land app, it was, it, it was, it was all right. Oh yeah, blue face. All right, I guess we talk about the forge. The Forge. The mother freaking Forge. It's going to... It's going to have you rethinking about why the hell you joined. Like, it's going to test... Everything it's going, going, going to you're gonna start. You're going to start hating MREs. You're going to start hating more rations. Beginning, when we first started getting more rations, I was like, oh yeah, I'm ready to do the anvil because I can't wait to get a more rations. So basically, more rations is like the little snacks of the MREs. I never got it. Don't got, it don't got main meals in it, but it got like little snacks. Like, you got I like... Mine's always had juice. corn nuts, which is like... No, not they're not called corn. It's like free. It's the like civilized. The civilized snack is called corn nuts, and but they like Fritos. And aren't in the army is called corn nuggets. And then yeah. you have um, you got the, I had M and M's. I had yellow bro. You had that for the anvil and stuff too. Yes, no, I had you got that for the fours. M and M's. The M and M's was so good, y'all. Yellow pack. Yellow M and M's. We only got that for the fours, though. But yeah, it had applesauce in it. it had like chocolate pudding. It had all types. It had a um. It had a yeah yeah chocolate. Pudding. But back to the forge, y'all. The forge, it's gonna test you. It's gonna test your mind. It's gonna test everything. Like you're gonna you're gonna hallucinate. You're gonna be mentally and physically tired. Like so you're basically, you sleep during the day. So we slept like first, the first night. You you wake up at. 10 maybe 10 11. yeah wake up at 11 or t like 11. we stepped off at like 12 45. we stepped off at 12. y'all we stepped off at 12 45. we didn't get there until five, five. o'clock bro when i said because we had to rock 10 miles like the street y'all we really rocked like 11. y'all we rocked 10 miles you can come we rocked 10 miles straight y'all y'all when i said my body was done y'all I, I think I rocked like eight miles because you know four platoon we was we was all the way in the back we was all the way in the back or whatever so you know so if you fell out you was gonna be that's why I took my ass in the front. you was all the way in the back so I fell out because you know when I rock I wasn't you no know. so I fell out you know I'm I'm back there with first sergeant again like first sergeant is my best friend when it came to ruck because he like he knew my face because he know I don't like rucking so he was in the back with me or whatever. And this is me trying to, I'm trying to keep on putting one foot in front of the other. And he was like, Trainee, what's wrong with you? And as soon as I said my hip, y'all, they do not play when you say, they do not play about hips. I said my hip, he told the band to come here. He made me take my ruck off. And y'all, when I said I felt so relieved, I was like, oh yeah, my hip gosh. Hip injury, they'll play like that. Thank you. Like the whole thing. No, I'm not weak. <laughs> nah, bro. If, I'm you not get, weak if you get your ruck readjusted to like how yes. you, your height or whatever, like mine just aren't. Shout out to Josiah Romeo from Echo <laughs> Company 113. And shout out to Josiah Moreno, you know. But oh, okay. Mor Romeo, he um he had helped me um what's that Moreno? He mm. helped me adjust my rook to my body. And when you do that, like for females, you really gotta get it adjusted because yes. the rest is adjusted to the boys. So like 
it'll be like all the way down to like your, your back. Your, it needs to be and up it, high. And it rubs against your Matter of fact, way, yeah. like it's supposed to be like like you regular. It'll be like down here. This how this how to work with. But this this shit see. would be like so. This is how you're supposed to pack your rug. It's supposed to be. Just, and that's how it's supposed to look after you tighten it. Yeah, maybe, maybe even smaller. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little smaller than this, but. You know, we already used to it or whatever. So yeah, when we adjusted it for me, it was like probably like us right here. I mean, it was harder for me because my bun is so big. So my, I was like this the whole rug. <laughs> I was looking like this with my head down. Girl. But it didn't hurt me because of how it was adjusted. And like oh, he he made me pack it right. So when it, like I tightened it or whatever, it was easy. Like so when we were just working, I was just gone. Like 10 miles, easy. It was easy for me. I'll get my little M&M's. Eat it while I'm gone. Meanwhile, I'm, gone. I'm taking off. Me, my rug, my rug started off high and then it ended up dropping. So and then I had my waist, my waist belt. Yeah, the waist. It belt. was around my hips, so that made it worse. So basically, every time I walked, it was rubbing against my hip. Y'all, when I said my hip was hurting so bad. You don't get what's some what's some things called chafing, chafing, chafing. You're gonna get chafing. Petroleum jelly gonna be your best yes. friend if you. Yeah, chafing right. ain't no joke. Like we had girls, they had all, like, they had burns, scars, rashes everywhere. Like, and they hurt. They hurt really bad. So yeah. Or just get some. Mm, never mind. You can't wear boxers. Yeah. So after, so basically after he made me take my ruck off, I still had a you know ruck with my platoon. I was fine with that because I was like, you know what. So you know we get there, we get to the field, our first field or whatever. And after we rock, they made they let us go to sleep for like a good six hours. Woke back up, ate lunch, went back to sleep, woke back up. MREs. You ain't eating. Oh yeah, MREs. You ain't eating hot eggs. Yes, MREs. Oh yeah, they don't know how it is. is. Hot eggs oh, is my God. nasty as hell. It's hot ass. That's what it is. <laughs> it's nasty as hell. I hate it, hot ass. You gonna hate, you gonna like it the first. You get it. You start getting it when you start going to um to the to the range. It's cool. Like we started first... get no. We had hot. We had hot A's the first day we got the basic training. No, we had MREs. We had hot A's. We had hot A's. The hot A's be. Str I was straight the like the first week, but you it's just repetitive. It. It's like the same, same you thing. Get, you get to get in a beef or you get a chicken, and then that's it. Breakfast. They used to have grits with no salt, no salt in the grits. They used to have the cold waffles. It wasn't even warm, bro. Barely, they always ran out of syrup. No bacon. They always ran out of syrup. No bacon. So I, this, this, all I used to eat was the waffle and the fruit. That's all I used to get. Cause get I, didn't eat, I didn't eat grits. I didn't eat eggs. I didn't eat none of that. Blue face, and there was no bacon. Blue face, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to eat. I was like, I'm just going to eat like an apple or something. But yeah. So, you know, we got to the first field exercises or whatever. And then, so after we ate dinner, after we ate dinner, or MREs for dinner, we had to pick up our rucks again, walk to the next destination. That's what we was doing all our little Y'all didn't training. do lanes? Huh? Y'all didn't do lanes after lunch? Mm -mm. We did lanes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we did We did our last <laughs> training exercise. <laughs> so, during the exercises, this is all we did, like, during the whole forge. So the first night, we did, um, we had to carry, like, these heavy, like, these heavy, like, tires and logs and... Ammo, ammo things like a mile straight. It was like a team bonding thing, whatever. And then we did Nick at night, y'all. Nick at night. Hey, if, bro. if you if you think you sleep and you got piercings in, take it out before Nick at night. Bro, yeah. Take that out. I didn't have any, but I'm just saying. If you got piercings, I got your belly piercings. You gonna be crawling. You gonna be low crawling. And, and sand, bro. I belly got like piercings, a bunch of scratches on my hands, belly arms. Piercing, nipple piercings, all of it. Take yeah. it out. But I mean, Nick and I, everybody was so like, everybody was like crying and stuff. I'm looking, I'm looking at them like. I was no, nah, Nick and I, you gonna you gonna get mad at people, cause like yeah, you you gotta climb up this wall and then. When you climbing up, there's people shooting over you. Yeah, they're shooting. And you gotta keep your head down, and you gotta low crawl or well, high crawl. Bro, I was tired. I was, I was, tired. I was on all fours. I was probably towards the end. No, I was getting at first. At first, at first, I was doing high crawls. It's like, and then, I was like, all right, all and right. it's like hella people. So you're like crawling over people. They was like, damn, crawl over you, aren't you? I said, sure, hell, why not? <laughs> now crawl over them. Like that, they be moving slow as hell. You, you don't get kicked. Well, I ain't get kicked, but I kick people, and. 
Once you get like midway, they like they throw a flare and then you stop. And you have to stop. Everybody got to stop or freeze and put their hand, their hand so down. So the enemy can't see you. Yeah, so the enemy can't see you. I looked up because I was like, this is really pretty. I was like, this I was is like, so oh pretty. All the red, all the red oh lasers. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Y'all, that was but crazy. After that, as soon as it goes black, that's all you hear. And yeah. they start taking off again. You got to get to it again. So basically, you do the same routine every single day. You basically rock somewhere, sleep the whole day, wake up, rock, and rock a place closer to your home. And then you do like a field exercise like we did. We did the range, we did pugil sticks, we did um, mass casualty, we did fifth the wing, we did confidence course again, um, combatives, we did combatives, we did, <laughs> we did combatives, we did all of that stuff. But basically the last night, y'all, I was so happy the last night because the last night we was, we was a little closer to the, um, battalion or whatever and the last night we left like we left our training exercises basically you start the training exercises from like nine nine o'clock at night to like five o'clock in the morning you just up doing training exercises sleep sleep whenever you can no, you're up from like we got up at like four we had to eat oh yeah and then we had to go to the place yeah so like four four p.m you're stepping off at like four four p.m until like Five o'clock in the, in the morning. morning. That's when you get to sleep again. But y'all, the well, last night, you can. the last night we got back at like we got back to the battalion at like two something, y'all. I was so happy. We was rucking. I was like, all right, we got this. We almost home. We almost home. We almost done. We sleep whenever you can, cause they can't smoke you a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. They can't fucking kick you. You better. All they can do be like wake up, training. Yeah. So you just better. I was sleeping all the time. Anywhere I could, bro. Anywhere. I remember one time we was all knocked out before we went to the range. But even the, even the lieutenant Joe Hodges was knocked out. We was all knocked out, bro. But yeah, so you know we got back to the battalion after we completed the forge. So basically, after you complete the forge, you have a soldier ceremony, and that's when you earn yeah your last army right. patch. Y'all didn't have to do that shooting thing where y'all run up the hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the it was our first step, first step, yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, Basically, um, Come here. Look at my guest Who wants this yeah, we you was done at two. Ass, we was done at two, and then we started walking to the soldier <laughs> ceremony at like five o'clock in that, like five o'clock in the morning. So you know, soldier ceremony, we all tired. We still haven't slept yet. So you know, we sitting there standing up proudly, we like. Slept. <laughs> oh yeah. No. When we first got there, before that, we first got there, spoke when we woke up. They was like, they was like. It was like just lay down. When I said everybody just like we all just we did not get we was on the rocks too. Oh no, we was on grass. We like, was on the rocks. I don't know. We knocked we out. We all just fell. We was like all right. We knocked we out. Yeah, they, they woke us up. Boom. Had a sword ceremony. Hey, they they patched they us. Mind you, we trying to stay up during the whole ceremony. Ceremony. We like we had to stand up for Ray Ray. No, we had to stand up for Ray Ray's or attention. I don't remember. We had to stand. I was like. I was like. It was a tension loop all there together. I was like, oh, yes, yeah, a battalion thing. Everybody everybody getting past that. We was time. mad, but we was like, why are they going to leave it? I know. So, yeah, after Yeah, we leave. jumped, y'all. We jumped in front of you. Some of y'all was getting on the bus, but then we was like, hell no, we got to go. So, we jumped. So, I'm thinking, after, after, so I'm thinking we finna get our freaking um breakfast. Then we get back to the company and we eating freaking MREs. Yes, eat MREs. I was like, well, what the heck? But you know, they said you don't have to finish. Just go upstairs. I didn't finish that shit. I just went upstairs. And oh yeah, so we got back. Shower. We got back from the soldier ceremony. They, they let all us shower. You know, mind you, we ain't shower in three days. You four gonna days. Shower. We ain't shower four days. So when I said that shower was so relieving, like that shower. Was some, so like, relieving. some people, some people didn't even shower. They just said, "Y'all nasty." Yeah, nasty. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The first you, night you sleep under, you're, right you're gonna wanna, you're gonna beg for a shower. Like, you're gonna need it. So for people to come back after four days, yes. and not I took baby wipe baths. Yeah, me too. I just bought the whole. Some people, some people never change their shirt. Or I, I, I made sure I changed my shirt. I changed my I shirt. Changed shirt. I didn't say I didn't change this every day, but yeah, I, I changed, changed this shirt. every day. This yeah. And your bra, sports bra, and, and your underwear, and your underwear, underwear, all underwear and um this. Yeah, I changed a lot more than my sports bra, but. I think yeah. I changed. I think I changed my sports bra like two days. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't even wear two. I didn't wear sports bra last day. 
So you know, after after we got back inside, they let us sleep for like four hours. Bro. You told them about you could fight as a combatus. Yeah. What happened? Excuse so yeah, they let us sleep for four hours. When I say that sleep was so good. Man, what? I when I said I was good. knocked out, bro. You gonna be wanting to go a wall? They gonna let you sleep till lunch. Did yeah. you have victory lunch or victory dinner? I had victory dinner. Victory dinner. Okay, skip ahead. So we had victory dinner. This is where we can get like frozen oh, yogurt. We had. You can get two meats. We had. I had steak and crab legs. I had crab. I had shrimp and something else. When I said that food was so good. Mm-hmm. So basically, after after that, everything started getting real chill because we was about to graduate or you whatever. Know what? You know what I just thought of? What? The victory dinner, right? Mm-hmm. Is what we be having here on a regular. Yeah. Steak, yeah. Frozen yogurt. Yeah. Two meats. <laughs> it's okay though. Oh, by the way, we at AIT right now. If y'all already know. Yeah. Oh, that's that's another video. Whole oh, another video. But um basically yeah, the end of blue phase. So if we had a pizza party, y'all. We could get a media pizza. We could get chips, candy, soda. When I said, y'all, people went dumb. The people was getting like five, six boxes of pizza. I ate the whole box of pizza. I never eat the whole box of pizza, bro. Me too. I ate the whole box of pizza. Um, I wish we could order pizza right now. Cause I, I sure would. Me too. So yeah, after that, you do the battalion run. That's right. Before, that's that's the day before family day. You do the battalion run. You run to Hill and Field. That was like you run for like five miles. What? The battalion run? Three. Yeah, you do the battalion run. And then you have the end of course, bro. Whatever you do, make sure you pass your end of course PT test. Because if you do not pass, they will recycle you. Make sure you pass your PT test, bro. Yeah. No make universe. sure you pass your PT test. My friend, she got recycled because she did not pass her run. Me too. My friend had a hip injury. No, she had a knee injury. And they messed her up. And she used to pass all her runs before that, but she didn't pass the last PT test and they recycled her. Bruh, don't Even though they're the ones who pass her up. your PT test. That's all I have to say. And then we had an end of course test. Make sure we, it's like, you know when we went to that little station? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And then family day came. I was happy to see my family. I gotta show y'all videos. Yo, that was fun. Family day, you gotta stay on post. And then graduation day came. Damn, I must have gone. Passing y'all videos. See y'all be, I'll have the insert videos. Graduation was fun. I was happy to my family. But I was sad to leave, whatever. Basic training is going to change you it's for worth the it. better. It's worth it. You're going to. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna stop saying that. Y'all gonna stop saying that. Saying what? It's worth it? Yes. Well. It ain't worth it. it it's still, I still want to go home. It depends on your why. It depends yeah, on the reason why you're there. It depends. But I just hate it because basic training made me fat. I hate it because the archers are just like, we, they made us eat. Like, we ate all that shit. Yeah, like, that's the only reason why I went to basic training. They made us eat. Like, if, if we didn't have food, like enough food on our trays, they would make us go back, put hella food on our tray, and then they'll watch us eat it. If we didn't eat it, we couldn't leave the defects. So I got fat. I, I didn't like it. Of course, you're not going to like basic training. You're going to hate it. But at the end of the day, at them ceremonies, that graduation, you're going to be proud of yourself. Really really you can say you did it. Like, can't nobody else say, like, I, because they didn't, like, you know, it's not for everybody. It's not for the week. And, like, when you finish it, it's like, it's really not for the week. And I did it. I did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I cried at the sword ceremony because I was like, bruh, I did it. Like, we're like, done. Damn. We're done. At the sword ceremony, you don't do anything but just yeah, clean. Clean. Here. You clean. But for us, that's when, after the sword ceremony, that's when they started getting on people's case. They started picking out little, little Soldier. things. Soldier. Oh, yeah. Fraternization. Fraternization. They're going to really be. Don't If fry. you get a battle boo, don't even show it. Don't. Don't do it. Don't even get it. Don't even get it. Cause you're not, you're not you're not here for that. You're gonna do it regardless. You're not here. You're gonna do it, do it on the low. You're gonna do it regardless. I'm just being honest. Am I not? People are gonna do it regardless. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna do have it regardless. Sex at the end, but don't have sex at the floors. Because people are doing that and it's just this. Yeah, that's nasty. and they that's end nasty. up getting in trouble. No lovey dovey, no lovey a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. There. That's nasty. Mm-hmm. That's nasty. Make sure y'all drink water, make sure y'all scratch for PC tests. Make sure, um, don't take anything personal from the drill sergeants. Like, at the end of the day, you got to know they're there for their job. Like, 
don't take anything personal. Cause at the end of bro, end of my cycle, I was real cool with my drill sergeant. Like I bro, we was It's gonna be it's gonna be some drill sergeant that you know they're doing their job and it's gonna be some that some of them are voluntold to do it so yes. they don't want to be there at all so no. they're going to give you hell of course but there's going to be some that's voluntold and they actually care about you like they're they want to she used to motivate us throughout the whole cycle that's why i Mine love her too. so much just right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 it was you're gonna meet hella fun. people with you're gonna meet so that, much great yo, battle buddies like yo my dog i met her I love her so much. I met her at AIT, but I love her so much. Williams, and come I here. I thought the dumbass. Williams, come here. My dog. Y'all, you're going to meet some of your lifetime friends. Like, me and her, we at the same unit after we leave AIT. Yep. All that good shit. All that good shit. All my, my whole group got split up. <laughs> okay. My whole Williams, gang got split up. I met her. I, I met you at basic training, but we she ain't didn't talk. Never, to we each didn't other. talk, but now we like, we like really close. We met at Where church. Where you from? Where you from? Georgia. I'm from Georgia. Where you from? I was born. Houston, Texas. I was born. South Carolina. I'm from South Carolina too. You know, Charleston. What's up? I was born in Jersey though, Plainfield. I was born in Jersey too. Yeah, Plainfield. 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 Tell bring, bring some pictures, pictures with you. Bring pictures so you can put it in your locker because you're going to be this fat. You're going to want them. You're going to, yeah. That's what you're going to be Get everybody, you get everybody address. Yeah. Right. I remember, like, you see this? I was writing ever since I got the music training. Get everybody. Everything. Get I, get I your wrote addresses. down. I wrote down. I wrote every day. Every single day. Every single day. It's going to help you. It's going to. Bruh. It's going to help. Writing helps so much. Especially when you get letters. When you get letters. You gonna feel real good when they passing out letters and you yes. hear your name and you're like, you like, you don't feel shitty as fuck when you don't though. Let me just tell you. You don't want to cry. See, I, I never experienced that because every letter call, mail call we I had, I always got a letter from somebody like this. Yeah, okay. it's shitty when you don't get letters. Yeah, it's yeah. So don't fuck with people who not gonna write you. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gonna find out who your true friends are, your true friends and family, cause people, some people didn't write me. My, only my family wrote me. I don't nah, my, my girlfriend. Family, my family wrote me. My girlfriend wrote me. And my, my friend in Pennsylvania wrote me. Wrote me. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. yeah, I had all my friends wrote me and my boyfriend. And my family. It is us now. So, I'm happy, y'all. But y'all just got to stay motivated. Who is that? Stay motivated. You know, I'll be back with another video of how AIT is going. Because, you know, we're currently That's AIT. Started. But we know we got four more weeks until we're done out this Y'all will see me on Go Pass because I don't look like this all the time. Because I'll be vlogging and I'm going, I'm going to be back on my YouTube channel because I know y'all miss me so much. And y'all see me all my earrings in. But y'all see all my hair down. This is dreads. I hope y'all like this video and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And we out. Ah!